You may wonder how did I end up going to the Kingdom Hall Library today. I wasn't planning on it, but I was in this extended conversation with a witness online, and we were talking about did the Watchtower used to teach to worship Jesus. And I gave him some references and asked if he could look into it and check them. I gave him some scans and stuff. He said they were altered by apostates, and I was hoping I could get a look at the real book and maybe even get a picture of myself with it. So I just had this random idea just to call the Kingdom Hall and ask if I could come there and look at the library. Well, lo and behold, a lady answers, um, I'll call her M, and she was really nice, and I ended up getting to go. Her husband was an elder, and so I got there, and I met her, another lady, her husband, and two other men. They were all really intrigued um, what my deal was and why I was doing this. You know, I said I was a researcher. I said, you can't trust the internet. I would rather see original sources, and it would really help me out if they would let me look at them. So they were like, cool with it. When we first got into the library, the elder said a prayer and then shared some random things with me um, about the organization and then shared a scripture with me from the book of John. And I told him how much I love the scriptures also and try to read them every day, etc. They asked me, have you studied with witnesses? And I said, yes, I studied for six months. Um, the wife, M, asked, why did you stop studying? I said, I didn't stop. They stopped the study. I think it was just because they didn't like some of the questions I was asking and were becoming uncomfortable. But I mentioned how much I liked all the ladies that came and got on with them really well. And then we just chit-chatted about some other things. The elder told me of improvements they had recently made on the Kingdom Hall, both inside and out, all with volunteer labor. The library was really cool looking. I noticed a very old set of studies in the scriptures. I looked at the yearbooks, but alas, they only went back to 1950. <clears throat> I looked for another book that had the same information from the year 1930, also to no avail, although they did have some of the older books from the same era by Rutherford. Now the elder seemed much more concerned and nervous than his wife and asked questions like, if I take a picture, would it be just for personal use or to put down Jehovah's organizations somehow? I explained that the only reason I wanted a photo of myself with the book was to show the person I was talking to that this was from the actual book, the actual hard copy. I did... I did, though, um, enjoy looking at the hard copy of a book called Prophecy by Rutherford and did take a photo of a page in there that shows that Watchtower still believed um, that Christ had returned in 1874. Um, he said that was the one picture I would be allowed to take. And I wasn't really making any comment about it as I was doing that. But before I left, we got to talk a lot more. The elder shared another verse with me from his New World Translation. The wife wanted to ask about my study again. She asked, would I consider resuming it? I said, well, I'm sure those same ladies don't want to. She seemed to be asking more about it, so I told her that one of the issues we reached an impasse on was Jesus not being my mediator. I shared that I have always believed he is my Savior, Lord, and mediator. But through the study discovered the Watchtower teaches he's only mediator for the anointed class. And that left me with a huge problem because, well, I totally need a mediator between myself and Jehovah being the sinner that I am. She declared that she believes he is mediator for all men, as the Bible says. I said, Amen! I always go by the Bible as well, and that's awesome that you do too. I said, well, don't take my word for it. Check out the Jehovah's Witness teaching on this for yourself. It's always a good thing to get all the facts on things. The elder husband, though, did go on some about the anointed being the only ones in the new covenant arrangement, etc. And I didn't really argue with him, but just listened. I talked about how neat it is that we all agree on the Bible being God's word, and I was wondering what they would say to this question. Could an ordinary person just find the truth for themselves in the Bible without the faithful and discreet slave? The wife was like, yes, of course. But the husband corrected her 
by saying no and explained about the slave being God's channel to give us meat in due season and all that. I remarked that they seemed to have somewhat of a difference of opinion on this issue. I mentioned that it was interesting that Pastor Russell so clearly stated that reading studies in the scriptures would make all things crystal clear for any Christian, much more than just reading the Bible alone. He even said that if you read studies in the scriptures, but then put them aside to read the Bible alone, you would return to spiritual darkness. The wife grumbled. I never heard of any quote like that. A little more random and pleasant conversation ensued. But toward the end, while we again were talking about the Bible and finding truth, I mentioned how important it is to check everything out for yourself, to test all things. For example, if only a single verse is being quoted to prove something, or even just a part of a single verse, a great idea would be to read the previous few paragraphs as well as the ones after. That's such a simple thing anyone can really do to check if that verse really means what someone is trying to prove by it. They agreed with this, the importance of context. Oh, and I almost forgot. The wife, M, pressed me for more specifics on what issue I was discussing with that person that was making me want to track down the original sources. I answered honestly that it was the question, did the Watchtower Society used to teach to worship Jesus before around 1950? I thanked them for profusely for being so nice and letting me come look in the library. I asked what time their Sunday meeting was and said, maybe I'll see you there sometime. P.S. I mentioned that some of the really old publications are sold for a lot of money, as some have become rare and collector's items. The elder mentioned that it's starting to become that way with their Bibles, as no one can seem to get one. I asked him if he knows why. He said he had no idea. I said, maybe they're coming out with a revised version. He replied, I just don't know.